Mixolydia! She's starting to disappear. Hey! You! Just how long are you going to sleep there? That was surprisingly disappointing. Lucas, your heart wasn't the one passed on to the Dark Dragon. That masked man's was. But there's nothing we can do about that. Fate is fate. But it's odd. I should be sensing the masked man's heart coming from the earth. But I'm not feeling anything at all. Does he, like, not have a heart or something? I'm about to disappear now, so Ocha will take care of the rest. I'm starting to wait for you at the beach. You can ride on his back all the way back to Tazmili. I'll give you my razor and lipstick. Take good care of them, almost as if they were me. All right, we got the we got Missy's memento, not Mixa Lydia. Missy. Oh wait, I forgot something very important. Could you give this Tyonia for me? It's a jar of yummy pickles. Tyonia loves pickles. Ugh. I believe there is a map loving and map owning fellow. Yes, I think he knows where Ionia's house is. So hurry and take this to Ionia. All right. I didn't mean yuck is in pickles food. I meant never mind. Oh, I'm disappearing. Farewell! Hey, she didn't say bye bye like the rest of them. She's just farewell. I guess she's just that special. So from Curl Park, she's just living here. Ah, oh, well. Anyway, though, I'm gonna cut back to the beach uh, of Taintain Island so I can show you guys. So I can, you know, hurry up and get back to Tasmania, right? Okay, now before we return, I just like to show these hot springs were actually a garbage dump that whole time, and the real hot spring was behind here. <laughs> Something that you might not know is remember that old man that rarely appears in the hot springs every so often? That old man actually can appear while you're on your acid trip uh, on Taintain Tain Island. But the funny thing is, if he appears while you're on your acid trip, he looks like facade. <laughs> kind of wish I could have shown that on camera, though, but he just wouldn't appear for me while I was, you know, recording. All right, so anyway, I'll meet you guys back at the beach like I promised. All right, we're back at the beach. Let's see what's up. It's Ocho, just like they said. Wow, big surprise that it's Ocho. Mixolydia instructed me to take you back to Tasmili. I know I'm an octopus, but please get on. All right, sure. He has taxi written on the back of his head. Wow. He wasn't written into this role at all in the story. Wow. There's nothing to hold on to, but hold on tight. How the heck's Boney staying on there? How the heck are any of them staying on there? They're not able to hold on at all. If anything, they should have just, like... I guess it could have always held onto him with his tentacles, though, but then again, that would be TENTACLE RAPE! Tentacle rape. Just like Mr. Game & Watch's final smash is tentacle rape. <laughs> good work today. Yeah, good work today. See you later. He's Merman, oh god. Traveling on Ocho! With 50% less Merman kissing! Ask your travel agent about it today! Why is the music so sad? Now then, Phil, excuse me. You are not excused. Jerk. Why is the music sad? Oh, wow. Is it because Bronson got fried? I love the ocean. I love the beach. I want to stay here forever. I'll just lie beach and stuff. You want some R&R, &R too? Uh, sure. I guess we could rest. Are we going to get tan? Just come on. I'd like to be tan in front of Kumatora. Aw, oh, we didn't get tanned. How come he gets tanned and we don't? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what's up. What's going on? Alec, what's up? Oh, Lucas. Slowly but steadily, the people of Tasmania have been heading to the, into the big city. I didn't know you guys were still here, though. What's that? You're looking for Ionia's house. That's certainly not nearby, I can tell you that. Do you remember that my little cabin in the mountains where you used to come visit? West of that old cabin is Argorilla Pass. You can get to Ionia's place from there. Whatever the case, it'll probably be a good idea to take in a map. I ran into maps in just a minute ago. He might still be around here somewhere. Just get him to mark your map for his yeah, get him to mark your map for you. There's Mapson, buddy! Mapson! You're one of my more favorite characters, because you have such a hilarious name. Alright, our map has been marked. Let's go ahead and see where Ionia's house is. It is Did not mean to exit. Excuse me. It is there. In a blackened out area of the map. Is that even possible by RPG standards to travel to? Uh, what do you gotta say? Seconds Village because no one invited me to go with him. 
Aww, you're so lonely. But then again, aren't you that girl everyone hates because you talk too much? Oh, well, anyway. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start traveling there, okay? I will meet you over by where Alex's cabin is, alright? See you guys in just a moment. Actually, wait. Uh, before we go there, there's a few enemies along the way that I'll show you enemy bios for, alright? And then I'll meet you guys over by our gorilla pass. Alright, see you guys there. First off is the Grated Yam Monster. You really don't want to fight these guys early in Chapter 4, because they actually will be here in Chapter 4, as you saw, like I showed before. Um, these guys, they're easy for you now, but they're really tough when you actually are fighting them, alright? Because they have, like, PK Fire and PK Freeze and that kind of stuff. Anyway, going on. Real quick, in the way of rare enemies, you have the Black Beanling here. It appears in the same area as the regular Beanling does in Chapter 1. There's the enemy battle. Next up is the Big Spud Bug, an upgraded enemy from the Potato Bug in Chapter 1. They really can't do anything but heal each other and call for help, just like the originals. Alright, I think that's about it. Okay, now if you remember this area from way back in Chapter 1, Kumatora explains, so she recognizes this area. I only see this northern here, the west patch lead us here, let's go! Now you can go over here because there's no longer ants blocking your path if you remember back in Chapter 1. Um, let's see here. Anyway, let's keep going. Whoa! We tripped. Whoa! We really did stumble. We weren't even walking that fast. Where'd the jar of yummy pickles go? Did we drop it? I guess what happens when it's easy to drop stuff that roll around. It shouldn't be hard to find. Let's split up and look for it. Bony, you help too. This is the one point in the game where you control Bony by himself. Awesome, huh? All you do is sniff stuff out and dig it up. And then give it to the stupid humans. Found something hard. That did not sound suggestive in the slightest. An enemy bufferizer. Not bad. And this is... It's a rotten eclair. I think I said I found something long. I don't know. I'll go look back at the thing. Uh, this is... I found something soft. That again did not sound suggestive. You found something soft of Kumatoras. Ew. A recollection bell. Uh, how could a bell be soft? A pumice charm. Alright, definitely gonna want to have someone equip that. Uh, and then over here should be the jar of yummy pickles. Found something that seems sour. Yep, that's it. Sour like thing was a jar of yummy pickles. Do do! Yeah, that's like a celebration. It's dirty, but the pickles are alright. Not bad. Anyway, going through here. This is where we need to go. Previously unexplored area, the same mountains that we were going through in Chapter 1, back when we had Flint and his awesome Chuck Norris cowboy abilities. <laughs> um, just letting you know, in here, uh, you're going to find a helmet that has uh, more defensive power for Lucas than uh, the awesome crown, but I would not recommend getting it. Uh, you know, for obvious reasons. There's a clever stick, strong gloves, that's not good. Uh, don't get the non-slip shoes. Uh, I definitely always stick with the mystical shoes for Duster. Uh, otter hat, crow bandana, hummus charm, which we already got one of, so only buy two of those. And I guess that's about it in the way of equips. I'm going to go and optimize my equips, and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Actually, you know what? I'm going to end this part off right here, okay, though? So, um, yeah, I guess next time I'm up through, we're going to continue exploring these mountains that we haven't gone to yet, all right? Um, off camera, I'm going to go and optimize my equips that I just showed you right now, okay? So, I guess I'll see you guys then.